Lexus reveals the new GS from Pebble Beach. Mercedes gives birth to their new baby AMG Roadster. The new VW Golf is all up in hot weather in Arizona. And Edmunds Inside Line gets ready to give us their opinion of the new Toyota Camry. All new 2012 Toyota Camry. Well, have plenty of photos right. of that one, too. Plus, we got Commenter of the Week. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D, and you're watching Fastlane Daily on my birthday. <laughs> Yeah, that is right. Today is my birthday, so I expect many gifts. Happy birthday to this guy. The next generation of performance is here. Royal Purple's new high-performance street motor oil, HPS. Fortified with zinc phosphorus anti-wear protection, HPS exceeds the demands of high-performance and modified engines. Magnified, HPS improves metal surfaces for longer engine life. HPS's high film strength frees up more power, reduces heat and wear, plus provides greater protection. The next generation of performance is here with HPS from Royal Purple, the performance oil that outperforms. Actually, you know what I want for my birthday? 100,000 subscribers. Yep. Yeah. I don't know why we're not there yet. Don't know. For my birthday, 100,000 subscribers. Go. Do it. All right. After months of teaser shots, Lexus has officially revealed the new 2013 GS. The presentation was this past weekend at the Pebble Beach Concourse de Elegance. The car takes design cues from the LFGH concept that we saw earlier this year at the New York Auto Show. In true Lexus form, the interior is decorated with leather seats, wood trim, and an analog clock. Because analog clocks are sophisticated. Smoking jacket optional. According to Lexus, three engine options will be offered, including a 2.5 liter V6 and a 3.5 liter V6, and even a hybrid version in the not too distant future. Lexus claims the new GS has a quote, more engaging driving experience. Maybe, I don't know if it's in that voice or not, but maybe it would be. Probably. We'd love to back those claims up, but Lexus only extended the invitation to Edmunds Inside Line to drive the car. By the way, you guys see their new YouTube show? Posted Automotive News? What a great idea. We should try that. Yeah, I don't know why we... Wait a minute. Yeah, exactly. Now, moving on to a much more refined brand not set on destroying themselves, Mercedes. It's only been a few months since the new SLK body was released, but now we've got the AMG version. Ladies and gentlemen, but mostly dudes since that's who mainly watches the show, we present to you the new 2012 SLK 55 AMG. Uh, you're supposed to clap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Woo. Yeah, set to be publicly revealed at the Frankfurt Auto Show in a few weeks, the new SLK 55 sports a brand new engine for the company. It's a naturally aspirated 5.5 liter V8. Connected to that engine is an AMG SpeedShift Plus 7 speed transmission. That will get the car 260 in 4.5 seconds. The kicker to this whole package, the new baby AMG will get an average of 27.6 miles per gallon. Pretty good. Also new, AMG Direct Steer, a system that will apply independent wheel braking to improve cornering. If you want to spend the cash, you can also get the AMG Handling Package, which provides a stiffer suspension locking differential. That's what she said. Yeah, it was the whole package and stiffer. Yeah. That's what she said. And a three-spoke steering wheel covered in moose knuckle. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's Alcantara. That's funny, right? Okay. And finally, to our internet rumor mill with the long-awaited 2013 Golf Mark 7. Spy testing in Arizona. These are the first shots of the new Golf. Worldcarfans.com had the whole set of shots, so you can head over there to see the rest if you'd like. The new Golf sits lower and is also substantially longer. The prototype was seen testing alongside an Audi S3, reportedly the benchmark of performance for the next flagship V-Dub. These shots don't really tell us anything new, we don't have much more information on the car either. VW did a really good job of camouflaging it, but from what we can tell, our very own Ian is driving it behind those pixels. That's me. That is you. It is. And you know what it's also? It is? You know what also it is? <laughs> It's the time it is, is what it is. It's, birth, it's your birthday time. It's, it's my birthday time. It's also commenter of the week time. Comment our show, yeah. Commenter of the week. Comment. Comments, yeah. I don't know. Well done. All right. 
So of course, since Ken Block's Gymkhana 4 video came out last week, there has been plenty of haters. And there was no shortage of them on our episode last week as well. So I decided to go with this one guy who's kind of a hater, but not a full-on hater. I didn't want to award a full-on hater with an FLD t-shirt. So anyway, YouTuber MadheadBab1 said this. I'm sorry, Derek D. This Gymkhana is the worst one so far. They're trying to make it mainstream, but it didn't work. They took away from his awesome driving with all those Hollywood effects. Fail. But well, by saying awesome driving, that was why I considered him not a full-on hater, because he was saying he's an awesome driver. So okay. okay. Anyway, first off, Madhead Bab One. My name is spelled D-E-R-E-K D. -E -R -E -K -D. Derek D. Second, listen up, and this goes for all you Jim Connor haters. You do understand that Ken Block is one of the founders of DC, a clothing company. He also happens to be a rally driver. What other clothing company do you know of that is putting out badass videos like the Gymkhana series? Can you name any, Ian? Uh, no. No. So give the guy a break and just enjoy the video and quality of it. It's shot very well. Am I, am I right? Oh, no, it's shot. Shot very well. Plus, you say he's going mainstream? It's a commercial. You need to make commercials for your clothing line anyway. So why not make them really badass? Plus, Block isn't hiding the fact that it is a commercial. He's blatantly telling you it is called the Hollywood mega commercial, which is a play off the word commercial. So come on, people. Stop hating and just enjoy. Everyone's a critic. Did I say critic? I meant everyone's a critic. Anyway, me. Setting the record straight like a boss. Right, Rick? Boss. Thanks. I love that you're always there for me, Rick. I'll always be there. Always be there. Just saying, boss. Boss. So nice. Anyway, you're getting a t-shirt, Mad Babalabal, whatever your YouTube name is. Well, that'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I am Derek D. And I'm just curious, how old do all you guys think I am? Go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'm just curious. The new VW Golf is all. Do I, should I say golf or golf? Uh, you know. I always uh, said I've, golf, but I've it's golf. I always said golf. Get that subscribe number up to 100 grand. I don't Dude, know why we're not there already. Per gallon, pretty good. Also, the. Uh, f I'm living in the fast lane, baby.